do a, um, probably, I don't want it too long. I was trying to record earlier last night for a video. But it was just way too long. I was going to do a part two. And if this is long, I'm going to do a part two of it. Um, I just want to express my feelings and my inputs on things that I've noticed about a lot of overly religious people. And I just want to, I just, I don't want to start an argument with people, especially if they are Christian. But I just want to express to you what I've been feeling with it. And that is stop labeling everything as satanic. Um, I know all of us, we are unique. And all of us believe different things. And that's perfectly fine. That's what makes us different and unique. I just want to say that before I get into the nitty gritty of things. And I just feel like it's, it's time to speak my truth. It's time to... Um, really lay it out on the table, not to be a hindrance to anyone, um, not to be a stumbling block, not to be um, an offense on your path that you choose, but just to hear me out and try to understand um, how I see things, not so you think, oh, she knows it all. I don't know it all. I'm just trying to express what's on my heart and the things that I just... It frustrates me to see that people do this. Um, so pretty much a rant video, a complaint video, and just lay it out and speak my truth because I think it's important. Um, you know, sometimes we choose what we say and what not to say, but I just feel like it needs to be addressed and it's, it's getting out of hand. And like I said, um, if it is a long video, I'm going to make a part two of this. Um, just be raw and authentic with all you. And um, hopefully you'll understand why I do what I do because of it. Um, but here lately, I was watching a video. And um, I came across a comment that was directed towards me. And it just really... You know how you read something. You, you don't know what the person's saying. I mean, you know what they're saying, but until you don't know how they're coming across and their own perception of the world and reality. But what I found irritating and upsetting when I read this comment, it was talking about how this world is satanic and you shouldn't want to live in this world and so forth. I don't remember everything, but um, it just... It really upset me because the way people, especially overly religious people, are taught that this is Satan's world, this is his ball game, um, but what they don't understand, and I don't know if they're ignorant to the fact, but we're here for a purpose. We're here for a reason. We're not here just breathing and drinking a cup of coffee. We're not here for that. We're here for a purpose, and I feel like People forget that in their own ways and in their own thinking that they think this is Satan's world. Well, first of all, um, that's your reality. If you believe that this is Satan's world, I'm not going to argue with you. So that's perfectly fine if you think this is the devil's world or the devil's playground. Um, no argument here, but it's upsetting to think that this is Satanic. That's when I draw the line. That's when I have a problem. And I usually don't like to give any credit to people who come at me, attacking me and saying, this is this, when it's really not. That's all your perception of the world and the reality. But stop labeling us who are witches or in paganism that it's satanic when you yourself don't understand. You may have not done research like we've done research, but stop labeling us as satanic. And it goes for the same thing. People who are satanic, stop labeling them as something that they're not. Do your research, people. Um, 
I just want to give a backstory, and I don't think I did it on this channel about paganism, but I did say in past videos that paganism is an umbrella term that we use in our practice and our faith. Um, we are free spirited people. We do and please what we feel is best on our path. Not all pagans are the same. Not all witches are the same. There's good and there's bad. Just like there's good and bad Christians, good and bad Muslims, good and bad Hinduism and so forth. But a long time ago, this is our history of what I know of. And I, um, learning, I'm, I'm still learning, but, um, a year into this and I'm still learning information that long time ago, which is, and the, the thing I want to reiterate is witches they like people a group of society changed the name witches and witches used to be called the good or the wise one sorry i was saying good one wise one same thing but we used to be called the wise one and people throughout time changed that but of what i know of our history of witches and stuff people used to go to witches for herbs, medicine, healing. And when I think of witches, I think of shamans almost. Is people went to them for advice, healing, um, diseases that they may have been noticing in their own bodies and stuff. So what happened is maybe a few person, maybe a society. I don't know a whole lot on that subject, but I do know that there were people may have witches it could have been group it could have been just one person um put a bad omen on the whole society of witches and that probably turned a lot of heads it probably presented itself as we are all bad but there's only a few or maybe one um so so forth the holy wars broke out and if you don't know anything about that that's where at that time especially the dark time um, Christians were trying to convert everyone to Christianity, and that's why there's many religions. There was a split that happened with different people, and they went on their way because they, they couldn't agree. <clears throat> so a holy war broke out, um, and that's why there's a lot of religions. But what I'm basically saying is, you can turn anything into bad. And basically, when you're working with magic, there's different levels and different levels of witches. Black, gray, white, green. There's even green witches. Um, if you haven't seen the movie Wizard of Oz, on there, if you don't notice, there's a good witch and there's a bad witch. Just something to think about. Um... But a lot of Hollywood and shows, especially the new one that came out, Sabrina Teenager Wish, Wish. <laughs> they're making witches out to be a bad person. And then they're using the satanic symbol, Lucifer or the devil or whatever you say it is, um, making it out that that's our symbol when it's not. Our symbol is a pentagram. It's a circle and then a star. For each of the elements and then spirit, um, which is the spirits or the um, elements, uh, water, fire, air, um, earth, and then spirit. Um, but yeah, you can take anything and make it bad. It's just, it's basically like magic. Um, magic we all use it in some ways, whether we want to project good things out to the universe or bad things, whether we have an offense towards someone or not. Um, magic in itself is not wrong. It's basically a law of attraction and it's the energies you're working with. You know, if you have hate in, in your bitterness in your heart towards someone, that in some way is putting it out in the energy and giving that person a bad odom it really is i mean it's really hard when you're dealing with people and they're so set in the ways and they can't change um but that's not what i'm talking about um and i was going to use an example 
and this is how stupid this comment was that I that was directed towards me. This is a bag. Well, it looks like a ball or a cup. Here, I'll use this. This is more better. How is this in any way satanic? Does it do anything bad? Is it doing anything to you? Is it filling you to do anything wrong? That's how stupid this one person's comment was, the world is satanic. First of all, we were given this life here on earth. Humans, a different race, different species, we were brought here for a reason. You were brought here for a reason. You may have not remember it in your past lives, but you were here to make the world better in some way. And some of us were brought here to cause problems. And some of you don't have a soul. Your purpose here is to cause havoc. And I understand that, but like that's something you don't learn is some people were brought here and not have a soul. You know, people who are just despiseful, mean, and gruesome, I don't consider them have a soul. I recently learned that not everyone here has a soul. Interesting fact. But basically what I'm saying is stop labeling everything as satanic like i hear people say yoda is satanic it's your reality and i'm willing to accept that but for me that's not my reality i feel like we have a purpose and a plan here on earth to preserve it we should fight for freedom we should fight for liberty we should fight for the things that we strongly believe in and we shouldn't let people get in people involved and stuff but anyways, I know that's kind of a rambling, but I just want to let you guys know, stop labeling, or if you hear it, just try to tell people, stop labeling something that is not true. Like everything is not witchcraft, and everything that's witchcraft is not considered wrong. It's just the energies you're using. And the thing is, people don't realize, you can make anything good, you can make anything bad, you can make this um, caboodle thing back. It's just the energy and the intent that you're trying to put on a certain object or a person. You can make water bad. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough rambling for one day, but I hope you guys can get more of a clarity that what I practice and what so many other people practice, we're trying to make the world better and we're using the gifts and talents but honestly, we all have gifts and talents. We all have access to the universe. It's just a matter of what we feel like our purpose is. If we don't feel like our purpose is here, then it's time to question, what are you here for? Anyways, I hope you have a great day. And I hope I didn't upset anybody. Um, do free to um, speak your mind and don't let people bother you. You know, they're always going to be bothering you, but... Um, it's time to speak your truth. So I would love to hear your input on this video if you like. Um, anyways, have a great day. Namaste.